Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to tweak almost any aspect of Windows 10. Now every time there's a big version bump for Windows, all the cool little tweaking utilities you used to use become obsolete, because there's so many different changes under the hood that registry values and other options just aren't where they used to be. And of course this was the case with Windows 10, especially considering how big of an update it was. But now, thanks to an update to a popular tweaking utility, we can finally customize a boatload of options in Windows 10. The utility is called Ultimate Windows Tweaker 4.0, and it was created by developer Paris Sidhu for the Windows Club. To get this one going, you just need to head to the download page, which I linked out at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, by the way. The download should automatically start within 5 seconds, and when it's finished, you're just about ready to go. So open your download folder, then you'll have to extract the contents of the zip. From here, just open the UWT4 folder, then launch the EXE that you'll find in here. Now I've already run this once, but the first time you open the app, it'll prompt you to create a system restore point. That's definitely a good idea, just in case you tweak an option that somehow breaks some functionality. But once you've taken care of that, you'll be taken to the system information screen. This one's really just about showing you specs and information like that, but this left hand menu over here actually has all the cool tweaks. So click the customization option on this left hand side. And there's actually five different subcategories inside of this. The first category is a bunch of options for the taskbar, so you can tweak the look and feel of everything down here at the bottom of your screen. You can basically remove any icon from your system tray with these options up here, and you can even remove the taskbar or the taskbar buttons. Then beneath that, you can adjust the size and margins for pretty much any element on the taskbar. But up here under File Explorer, you've got lots more options. You can disable a lot of arrow functions, some gestures, and even tweak shortcut icons if you want. Then in the Modern UI tab, you have a bunch of options for tweaking new Windows interface elements. So stuff like the new lock screen and its animations and backgrounds, or toast notifications and live tiles. Then there's the Windows 10 specific settings, which lets you tweak the power menu, turn off the light theme on system menus and apps, and quite a few more miscellaneous options. Then the last tab under customization is pretty cool. You can actually choose which items you want to display under this PC, and there's lots of different options for that. But checking out some of the other categories, there's user accounts, which gives you some fine-tuned control over the accounts on your PC, obviously. Then the performance section isn't for tweaking CPU options or anything like that, but it lets you change the way Windows handles certain situations. Like you can set how long it takes for an app to be killed during shutdown, or how long to wait on a non-responsive app. Then of course there are a bunch of checkboxes for several related options, but they basically all fall into that same general category. But this next category is my favorite so far. You've got lots of security options, and these basically let you hide most of the Windows settings menus once you've adjusted everything to your liking. But the really cool part is the privacy tab. All those fishy cloud connected and data mining options in Windows 10 can easily be disabled here. Stuff like telemetry, biometrics, handwriting sharing, and a lot of other things I personally don't want my computer tracking. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and disable all of these while I'm in here. But next up, you've got options for tweaking Internet Explorer. These settings don't apply to the new Microsoft Edge browser, but they'll let you change a bunch of stuff in Internet Explorer 11. After that, there's Context Menu, which lets you add items to the Context Menu on modern apps. But then there's a Desktop Context Menu tab that you can use to add almost anything to the normal right-click menu. Same goes for Desktop Context Menu 2, which has more options for different circumstances. Then finally, under Additional, you'll find all the tweaks that didn't neatly fit into any of the other categories. So a bunch of odds and ends, but there's still some pretty cool stuff in here. Then when you're done tweaking everything, just hit Apply. And depending on which options you chose, you'll probably be prompted to reboot. But when you get back up, Windows 10 should be perfectly tailored to your specific preferences, right? For the full breakdown, though, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.